from my great challenge .blogspot.com. Today is part three, part three of my great staircase makeover. If you've watched part one and part two, you remember where I was at. If you didn't, the links are below. If you did, you remember that I left you off with having sanded my staircase and I told you that I was going to work on finishing and detailing the work because there was some stuff on the side and in the corners that the sander couldn't get so I had to do it by hand. I did that. Let me give you a quick look. So this is what the steps look like now and there was like a lot of grunge right here. I removed all of that underneath. So yeah, the, uh, the floor itself looks really, really good. It's nicely sanded, not too much of a groove, but pretty, pretty, pretty good. I could definitely go ahead and send it um, one more time. I've sanded it three times so far. Three times with coarse, three with medium, three with um, smooth. I don't want to do it anymore. Like I said, I don't want the look of brand new. I want the look of lived in. So the staircase is just going to be, um, you know, tainted or stained with the polyurethane, like a, um, I don't know, Minwax, like I guess they call it, in golden um, yellow, which is the same thing that we have in the rest of the house. Today, I'm painting the walls, or at least I'm starting to paint the walls. As I said before, or in my previous video, I am not going to do the stairs yet, because as I'm doing the cathedral ceiling here, I'm probably going to have some drips, and then what's the point? I'm going to have to clean that off and then do the polyurethane again in spots. I don't want to do that. I'm going to paint these walls, the uh, uh, trim over here, and then this, these walls right here. And my little guy is bringing me a drink. Thank you. You're cute. <laughs> um, anyway, so colors. I had said in my first video that I wanted to do kind of like um, a tricolor thing. I wanted to do a Prussian blue at the bottom, a bright white in the middle, and a gray on the top. And then I went to my friend Bears and she said, hey, you know, I have a, a friend of mine who made me curtains years ago. It would look good in your house because it's kind of like a colonial type color. And I said, sure, I'll look at them. And I love the curtains. They look very much like what I have in my dining room. And I picked them up and I've decided that I'm going to paint this whole area here the same color than the curtain. So it's going to be kind of like a, um, you know, a uniform look totally different, the opposite of blue. This is the fabric that she gave me. Let me show it to you in the daylight. I hope you can see because it's not too bright in here. And I'm really, really hoping that you can see and appreciate the colors. All right, so we have like a uh, uh, kind of like a yellowish green here. Then there's a cream, there's a brown, there's some uh, olive green, more stripes, a little bit more of that yellowish thing. And then this red, um, kind of like brick color so I don't want this is what it looks like and that's these are just table sets that she had made to match um, the curtains so I'm not gonna do red because it's too dark um, for a staircase at least for a staircase that is not as bright as this one but I went to um, the Home Depot and I bought some bear let me see if I can show you uh, paint and primer in one and then paint and primer in one you know um, regular interior paint and I picked these colors right here I picked this yellowish kind of color or straw with a hint of green for the top part which is right here and the cathedral ceiling right and then I picked a cream the cream that's right here I picked that cream color for the trim right here and the trim here, right, and the trim here at the base, and it's going to be for the uh, risers. Uh, let me show you right here for the steps. That's going to be in cream, and then for the bottom part here, which is the part where you know you touch the wall or you put your hands on it um, when you go up. That part here, right, and then on this side right here, and then right here where the door is above. That's going to be in green. This is going to be that yellow straw color. And the green is the exact same one than the one that's right here. And it's this one here. So the green is called Jungle Trail. Here it is. I'm going to try to show you how it matches. All right, here we go. You see? So that's Jungle Trail, right? That yellowish 
uh, straw color. The one I picked is called Summer Fields or Summer Field, and it's this color right here. And I don't know if it really, yeah, when you do it in with the light hitting it, it's pretty much the same. And then the trim is this cream color right here that's called Banana Cream. And it's this one right here. So what I'm going to do today, I doubt, of course, I'm not going to have time to do the whole thing because it's already noon. I'm going to start with the cathedral ceiling, or at least a portion of it. I'm going to film myself um, painting because I have some of you who've asked for me to do that. Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> that's not a problem. Um, I'll do my best. I already sanded um, the walls a little bit, but you know, they are not in the best of shape. I mean, the guys who did this uh, years ago, you know, they kind of like patched um, the sheetrock as much as they uh, as well as they could. I think the guy who did this was not a professional He just did it for himself basically, so it's not a professional finish I'm not gonna go crazy and try to you know reinvent the wheel here I am not repatching or sanding and you know re plastering none of that I'm painting over basically um, So I'm gonna try to do at least this portion here and part of the ceiling I don't know how far I can go and uh, we'll take it from there It's probably gonna take me this weekend and next weekend um, to finish it unless I start doing some painting in the evening. I could do that too. So let me show you the first color What I'm gonna do is the again the summer field which is going to be all over here In the cathedral ceiling and on this side I have to do first the part that touches the um, trim right here and then the corners Like this right so I'm probably gonna have to go and get a stool then I have my giant ladder which uh, my husband went to supermarket so I'm gonna wait for him to come and then the, the other side over there where the light is I have to remove the light in order for me to paint this so I'm gonna probably do it at the last you know when I'm ready to be done with that particular color because I do need the light so I can see what I'm doing okay let me get started so I just opened the uh, summer field paint which is gonna be the one for the uh, ceiling, I just want to place it next to the fabric so you can see how it matches, right? So, yeah, this is the paint that's going to go on the cathedral ceiling. I'm just going to do a simple um, brush like this to do the edges all around. And um, I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. Okay, so I've started on the part right here that's by the door, probably because I have easier access to it right now. Just want to show you what it looks like. I chose eggshell as a finish. It's a little bit difficult to apply right now as the first coat only because the paint that is here um, already is a matte finish. So it kind of like drags the, uh, uh, the brush a little bit, but that's all right. I'm just going slow. And again, I'm not trying to finish this in one day. So I'm taking my time making sure that I'm applying it evenly, but you can see the difference in color already. It's a little bit brighter. What I like about it is that it's very similar. If you've seen my videos on my guest bedroom, it's a little bit similar as a color combo. It's green and yellow, just different greens and yellow. Um, and these are colonial colors as well. And it looks very, very good with the style of the home. So I'm pretty excited. Right now I'm going, I'm trying to reach as far as I can without the ladder and that's fine and I don't have to put any uh, uh, tape on the trim because I didn't paint that yet. What I'll do is put the tape on this color right here as I'm painting this. I don't know if that makes sense but I'm really liking the color. I mean for the little bit that I've done so far it's seriously brightening the whole staircase and I like that and I'm usually it's interesting because I'm usually not a green person at all, but for some reason I've picked a lot of green. If you've watched my other video, you know I've picked a green in my um, in my kitchen, and that's really not the kind of colors that I would normally use in a home. But for some reason, again, because this is a colonial home, I tend to go towards um, historically accurate colors. So here for this part, I didn't remove the light yet. I'm only gonna I'm only doing the edges. Um, so that I can go over the rest with the big roll and I have an extension too 
just make sure that I spread it nice and evenly. Again, this is an eggshell finish that I'm putting over a uh, mat, so it's a little bit more difficult. I'm really in the dark in that corner, I can't see what I'm doing. Um, but that's alright, it gives us an idea of what the color looks like when it's in the shade. Again, this is bare interior paint in summer field. It's a yellow, strawy yellow with a, a hint of, I would say, lime green, probably. So just to recap, this is the color of the top part. Um, this is going to be a cream color called Banana Cream. And this is going to be a green color called Jungle Trail. Like a, a dark olive green. Okay? Alright, let me get going. So I didn't want you to miss a bit. Um, I'm precariously perched on top of a ladder, all the way on top of my cathedral ceiling, trying to reach the areas over there, which is... Not too difficult, but you know, it's about six, seven feet below me. Uh, I'll have the camera with me to show you, but you know, in case you have vertigo, this is not for you. And again, I'm just doing the angles first so that I can do the roller. And what I'm probably going to do is do two coats of the angles so that I can do two coats of rollers rather than doing one coat of angle one coat of roller, one coat of angle, one coat of roller. Am I making sense? Yeah, I hope so. I'm going to try to reach all the way over there and that's going to be a little bit more complicated. I may have to go one row higher. Let's see if I can do this. Oh man. Alright. I made it. I should have an extension. If I had an extension, it would be much easier for sure. Yeah. Wow. Tough, but doable. Ah, cathedral ceilings. Whew. They're beautiful, but to paint on your own is difficult. All right, quick update. I've got all of the corners done twice and that was work and aerobics. <laughs> um, yeah, it's done all the way over here and then on this side. So I got my roll, I got my extension pole, I'm going to start with this wall right here. Before I show you what the paint looks like, um, you remember I had all the shelves here with the books and then over here I had my husband's big wardrobe, right? So what we managed to do was to remove this thermostat which was here and then run the wire over the uh, stud and bring it to the back of the wall back here. The idea here is to move the thermostat further to the left so that I can bring in my husband's big armoire over here instead right and then my idea was to if you remember in video number one was to remove all those shelves and then to move them on this side right here so I'm going to take the shelves and put the um, wardrobe back in and show you what it looks like okay so I'm done I didn't bring the, I didn't put the light back on um, but I would just want to show you what it looks like here's a large view if it only it would focus yeah so let me get the vacuum out of the way all right so i move my husband's um armoire as you know i'm going to put it over there on the other side so i reopened the whole space here and then i did two coats of that uh what is it hmm summer field color and it's too bad it's almost dark right now outside so you can't really see the color but what I did for you is that I put this one right here um, 
so you can see how it's gonna look. I'm not sure if you can see to be honest. Let me try to find a spot with more light. Let me see, is there more light here? Okay, so this is what it looks like, you see? Okay, so I did the whole uh, focus. All right, hold on, let me find something. I did the whole cathedral ceiling all the way up to here. So the rest of the bedroom is not done. I did the whole ledge here. These are my supplies that are still over here because remember I have that ledge. did the whole here and then I did all around the window, right? And on the other side, I did it all the way up to here. And again, it stops right here at the V, I guess we're gonna call it, and went around here. Now, this, if you remember, this right here is gonna be green. This is cream, this is green. This right here is green. This is the yellow right here. I started painting it and then I realized, oh, oh, no, that's green. This is going to be green and green around here, around the corner. And then the green is gonna go all the way around here at the bottom. And then there's that banana cream color that's going to be for all of the trims and the risers on the steps. So yeah, I'll give you another view. If I can, um, if I put the lights back on by the end of the day, then I'll show you what it looks like with, um, you know, the light shining against the wall so you can see the color. And well, I still want to show you the armoire on that side of the bedroom instead of the uh, bookcase or the shelves at least. I have to say this was by far one of the hardest projects I've done. Um, not because it's difficult to do, but because it's unbelievably awkward to do. The climbing of the ladder, the trying to paint something on tippy toes to get a corner over here and a corner over there, it was absolutely painful. Uh, exhausting, painful, my back hurts, everything about me hurts right now. I'm just glad it's done. This was the hardest part. Honestly, the whole cathedral ceiling was the hardest part. So I'm probably going to be able to spend a couple of evenings this week. And I'll film that. I'm not going to, you know, show you a final project where I'm showing you the steps. I'm probably going to be able to finish the painting sometimes during the week. Because it's pretty easy. It's just like the, I don't need a ladder for the green. It's at eye level. And the trim, same thing. I don't need a ladder. So... I'm probably going to be able to do that and film and that'll be video number four and then five I'll do the uh, staircase and then maybe I'll add the uh, curtains or somewhere in between the curtains will be there. So anyway, let me show you what it looks like with the armoire back in the corner. Just a general grand view, maybe with the lights and then I'll call it a night. All right. Whew, I'm halfway there. All right. So this you've seen before. This is the door that leads to my bathroom. I put my husband's armoire right here, put my books over there all piled up and the thermostat is over there and the only reason why they're there is because I didn't put the shelves yet and look at how much I opened up the space. You see that? Before the armoire was right here, it was just basically blocking off the entire area. So I have my cathedral ceiling back in its beauty and uh, that's my bathroom chair it's just there because i needed it to reach something and i have the light back on right here so you can see a little bit of the yellow i still hate it i'm probably gonna have to change it um i, I just i don't know i understand that this is crystal and it's from the 20s if you can see some of the design on it i just don't like it at all maybe if i change the bulbs i don't know but um yeah that's the whole cathedral ceiling but I've shown you that before and the steps I do have some stains on the stairs um, let me zoom in hence the reason why you want to paint the stairs last <laughs> you see that so I'm gonna have to clean that up and do a little bit more sanding but overall very happy with the look. I like the color. I thought I was not going to like it all that much because there's some green in it. But yeah, I think it looks much, much better. If only I could get rid of this hideous carpet. But maybe in another project I'll remove it and we'll see what's underneath it. I'm hoping it's real planks. At which point I'll send it and then we'll finish up the uh, color for the bedroom. Alright? So, 
This was Sophia for my great challenge .blogspot.com. You can see some of the mess in the back. I have to clean and I have to bathe the cat. Yes, because the cat got sprayed by a skunk last night and we haven't allowed her back in the house. So I bought the uh, de-skunking shampoo, I guess. Um, that's going to be a trip in its own. But we got to do it because I want the cat back in the house and she really, really stinks. It's awful. Anyway, this was part three of my staircase makeover. Like I said, sometimes during the week I'm going to keep on painting and then I'll show you around and, you know, show you what I'm doing as I progress along. But that will be video number four and I guess I'll see you next week. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new and I'll talk to you later. Bye!